I'm going to share something that I believe the Lord has been speaking. Um, it, I've seen it confirmed by one or two other prophetic voices. Um, anyway, I, I, I've just pondered different things. And one morning, I was just crying out to the Lord and uh, confessing and declaring that I dedicated, I was dedicating not only myself, but my children, my grandchildren, all that I have to the Lord. I, I just proclaimed all in my possession and certainly uh, family members um, dedicated to the Lord. Of course, this is scriptural. Uh, it has its precedent in the Old Testament and under the Old Covenant where the articles of worship, uh, those things that were placed in the tabernacle, uh, were dedicated to the Lord. They were declared holy to the Lord. Uh, and that's why the king who uh, uh, had he and his people drink out of those vessels that were brought out of uh, the place and had been dedicated as holy to the Lord uh, died. Um, and uh, there have been other incidents where uh, people, uh, the unsaved, touched what was holy and suffered the consequences for that. So we are to live lives uh, consecrated and dedicated to the Lord. So then I, I found myself asking the Lord to mark me, my husband, my children, grandchildren, and so forth, um, to mark us. Uh, and, and the precedent for that is in scripture again, and it's uh, primarily in the Old Testament, but there is something in the book of Revelation. Uh, and uh, first of all, Psalm, Psalm 37, 37, 37, 37 says, mark the blameless man and behold the upright. Mark the blameless man and behold the upright. If you'll remember in the book of Genesis, this is Genesis 4, I believe, uh, when Cain murdered his brother Abel, the story, the true, obviously, account of Cain and Abel, uh, the Lord God Almighty placed a mark on Cain. And what he said was, so that nobody who found him would kill him. So even though he was guilty, blood guilty, uh, and Abel's blood we know from, I think this is in Hebrews, cries out, uh, still cries out for, uh, for justice from the ground. Um, but God put a mark on Cain so that those who would see him would spare his life, would not kill him. Uh, then in Ezekiel, there's an account and this is before the uh, temple uh, that Ezekiel had the vision of. And uh, God said to an angel with a writing case to go through the land starting in the temple of God uh, and utterly slay every person upon whom there was not a mark. So his first command to the angels, this is Ezekiel um, 9. Uh, and verse 4, And the Lord said to him, to the angel, Go through the midst of the city and put a mark on the foreheads of the men who sigh and groan over all the abominations which are being committed in its midst. midst. And then the, the angel was commanded to go through and slay, kill every person upon whom uh, there was not a mark. Um, Revelation 7 verses 1 through 3 tells uh, a very similar story. Uh, and it says in Revelation 7, And I saw another angel ascending from the rising of the sun, having the seal of the living God. And he cried out with a loud voice, Do not harm the earth or the sea or the trees until we have sealed the bondservants of our God on their foreheads. So there, just as the Antichrist has a mark, God has a mark, and he marks his servants, his children. Of course, the, the, the real mark uh, that, that we have when we're believers in Jesus Christ, in covenant with God by the blood of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world, 
Ephesians 1 tells us, in him, in Jesus, you also, after listening to the message of truth, the gospel of our salvation, having also believed, you were sealed in him with the Holy Spirit of promise, who is given as a pledge of our inheritance. So we as children of God, as believers in Jesus Christ, are sealed by the Holy Spirit, with the Holy Spirit. In Him, we live and move and have our being. So I don't know if there's a, 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 an additional mark that is given to the saints of God for protection during uh, some of the things that are going to be coming upon the earth. Um, I found myself again crying out for that that mark, that particular mark. Uh, and I, I again heard another prophetic uh, voice say that, that, that uh, she was told by the Lord that he had marked his children. So we may be talking about one and the same thing. We may not be. Uh, but just know that in him you live and move and have your being. Just know, according to Psalm 91, that he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. In Jesus' name, amen.